Completely focus on adding foods in, not taking foods out. That is the best advice that I could give to my younger self and anyone who struggles with their diet. Restricting your diet of foods that you can't eat is like a full-time job. You have to think about it all day, every day, and it's quite stressful. Oh, I can't eat this pizza and I can't eat chocolate and I can't eat this and oh, I can't eat that, I'm on a diet. This is so much more challenging than it has to be for you to improve your diet. Instead, just focus on adding a few highly satiating foods into your day. Satiating just means filling, highly filling, high volume foods. So don't think about quitting junk food. Focus on eating one more piece of fruit a day. Don't think about the carbs that you're not allowed to eat and instead think about the vegetables that you wouldn't mind eating. This is exactly how I've been able to overcome binge eating and how I've managed to stay pretty lean at a low body fat percentage for a couple of months now when usually I'm a chronic overeater. So my secret to doing a cut in the weightlifting bodybuilding terms, a cut is just being on a calorie deficit. I had always failed them all the time. I'd go on a cut and I just couldn't stay on the calorie deficit. That's because I just restricted it too much. I didn't allow myself to eat the things that I actually enjoyed. I would eat no treats, nothing. And then obviously I would just quit after two days and go, oh, may as well go back to bulking then <laughs> and just eat shit for ages. Fill up on healthy, nutritious, unprocessed foods and then always allow yourself to enjoy a treat or two. Everyone gets obsessed about what not to eat when they start a diet and that's the biggest failure that I see in every single person that I either hear about or that I personally train myself. It's all about having a diet that will slowly get you to your goals that you actually don't mind staying on that once you set that diet, you set the type of foods and the amount of foods, you actually are quite happy to follow the same diet. Restricting things is so damn hard. The, the real way to cure someone's addiction, whether it's junk food or alcohol or smoking or any kind of drug, anything that you can be addicted to, is to create their life to be so much better that they actually don't need this addiction, this vice anymore. And if all you're doing is taking the addiction away and not replacing it with anything else, they're going to get obsessed about it. They're going to get more addicted to it and they're going to experience withdrawal symptoms because all you've done is take away the thing that actually makes them feel good today. And that's not a good way to deal with these addictions and these unhealthy behaviors that we have. The best way to deal with it is to add in something that, that gives them a goal, it gives them something to focus on, something that makes them feel good. So someone who drinks too much, instead of just taking his alcohol away, get him on a weightlifting program, get him addicted to weightlifting, building muscle, and then he'll slowly reduce his alcohol intake. Someone who smokes weed a lot and keeps getting the munchies, if you take away his weed, he's, he's not gonna sleep properly, he's not gonna eat properly, he's just gonna be depressed and he's gonna be craving it more and more and Someone who overeats is the same thing. If you throw away their junk food, they're gonna crave it more and more because now it's like a punishment and we don't like punishment, we don't like cages. So if you're struggling with overeating junk food or you're struggling with sticking onto a diet, think about what you can add into your day that makes your day better and it also lines with your goals. Vegetables are perfect for this. You can fill up on vegetables as, as much as you want. The calories in vegetables, you honestly don't even need to track them because they're so low. So what I recommend everyone to do right now is just pause the video and just think for a couple of minutes. Remember sometimes that you ate some vegetables that you actually thought were delicious. Not only the type of vegetable, but exactly how was that vegetable cooked? I just had this conversation yesterday where I told someone that you shouldn't boil your vegetables because when you boil it, all of the nutrients just spread out into the water and boiling vegetables just makes them taste like ass. <laughs> boiling vegetables just taste disgusting compared to how well vegetables can taste if you cook them in different ways. And I would always suggest any vegetable, either fry it or roast it with oil. That's the big part because vegetables take so much nicer when they're cooked with oil. Olive oil especially is healthy for you. It's kind of high in calories, but the extra 100, 200 calories that you put over a massive batch of vegetables is absolutely worth it. Do not aim to have a 100% perfect diet. So 100% of your calories comes from unprocessed healthy foods. There's a reason why we say this 80-20 rule. I would say about 
at least 5% of your calories should come from something that's entirely just sugar, it's a sweet, it's a chocolate, something like that, and even go upwards to 20%. So that means for most people, you could probably eat about 400, 500 calories worth of chocolates and crisps and whatever stuff you enjoy every single day. And yes, your diet, your performance would be better if you didn't do this, but the best diet is one that actually gets you to your goals. And the only way it can get you to your goals is if you stick to it. The worst diets are the ones that are absolutely perfectly healthy, but then you just go off them after three days because you're sick of it. And then you go and eat, you go and binge eat for a couple of days to counteract how shit you felt just eating purely healthy foods. Fill up on vegetables first, fill up on water first, and then when you're already full, have a small amount of the thing that you really, really enjoy. Don't have these unhealthy processed junk foods when you're quite hungry, because you and I both know that these foods do not fill you up unless you overeat and you have like more than a thousand calories of them. Just keep this mentality that if you're hungry, eat something healthy first, and then when you're already kind of full, then eat the stuff, then eat the unhealthy foods guilt-free. That's the best way in my opinion. And I wish I could go back in time and tell this to my 17, 18 year old self because he would have benefited from hearing this. If you want my one-to-one -one help with your diet, with training, you want me to make you a workout routine and you want me to be your online personal trainer, you can go to the Fiverr link in the description right now. Really affordable and I'll be in your pocket just giving you motivation, teaching you more in-depth things like this. I have an email newsletter and one person who's subscribed to that every month starting from November will receive a free month. So four weeks, four one-on-one -on -one video calls and 24-7 messaging for the entire month. Uh, one person from random will win that if they're subscribed to the email newsletter. So if you subscribe to the email newsletter, you'll get morning motivation from me that'll get you losing fat and stay into your diet and productivity. So go to the Fiverr link in the description right now and I'll help you get shredded. Take care.